hi now in this video you are going to see how to draw the projections of a square pyramid when its axis is parallel to horizontal plane so before drawing this let us have a look about the square pyramid yes on the screen you can see that a square pyramid which is having a base and connected with the four triangular faces towards the apex point called as O. If you see the base is parallel to vertical plane. You can see this is the vertical plane, horizontal plane. The base of the pyramid is parallel to vertical plane as well as the axis of the pyramid is parallel to horizontal plane or perpendicular to vertical plane the axis is parallel to horizontal plane or perpendicular to vertical plane yes now in all the three cases the axis of the solid is perpendicular to vertical or parallel to horizontal plane okay now let us see the first condition of the drawing first condition is that the edge of the base of the pyramid is parallel to HP and VP or the edge of the base is perpendicular to horizontal plane. Let us have a look here. See in this square pyramid base two edges are parallel to both the planes that is A, D and B, C edges are parallel to VP and HP. So it is parallel to HP and VP and two edges are perpendicular to HP in the same position the edge AB and CD are perpendicular to horizontal plane so in the same question you can see different questions two edges are parallel to both the planes two edges are perpendicular to horizontal plane and when the observer views from this direction the front view appears as a square and all the triangular faces connected to the center point called O dash yes now let us draw the same here the front view appears as a square and all the triangular faces towards the center yes polygon number of sides 4 because it's a square edge method okay I switching on the ortho yes 30 yes because 30 is the base now I will join all the corners towards the center because these are the triangular faces yes now let me give the I will switch on the command line command line okay, okay. A B C D I am giving the text the front view notations yes A dash B dash C dash and D dash this is the front view of a square pyramid apex point O dash ok now to draw the top view I am erecting the projectors from the here to reference line yes now when you see this pyramid when its axis is parallel to HP or perpendicular to VP when you see from the top it looks like a triangle the top view looks like a triangle and the edge BO CO will meet to the here whereas AO and DO are invisible but these two hidden edges are coinciding with the edges BO and CO respectively so according to the priority of the lines the first priority goes to the visible line so BO I am drawing the BO as visible line the CO as a visible line satisfies and now there is no coincidence or overlapping of any lines with respect to the center line so that's why I drawn the center line which is the axis okay now the top view I am drawing it the top view looks like a triangle the axis is 80 mm okay now I am connecting B O and now C O whereas AO and DO is 
below to this one because of hidden line whereas a devo is below to this line because of hidden line okay i finished the base let me give the visible lines a line weightage in the front view all these are yes perfect and now as i said this is the center line or axis of the pyramid there is no overlapping of any lines okay now let me give the text that is called notations and when you see from the top b is visible a is invisible that's why b of a and this is c of t and this point perfectly the o apex point o very good you can see b of a c of d and this is the o point perfect now let us give the dimensions the base is 30 and the height of the pyramid is 80 perfect now the first condition satisfies now the second condition is that when the edge of the base of the pyramid is inclined at an angle to horizontal plane the angle i took in this case is 30 degrees see in this case ad and bc are 0 degrees whereas ab and cd are 90 degrees with respect to hp but now in the question i am asking that this ad edge is making an angle 30 degrees when it turns 30 degrees what will be the projections so when this ad turns 30 degrees here with respect to horizontal plane the front view looks like a inclined square inclined square but there will be no change in the dimension because just it is tilting the square sides edges everything remains the same so that's why what i am doing is that instead of drawing it again in the autocad I am selecting everything control C control V yes just I pasted it here I am selected everything rotate so with respect to A D edge I am taking the A as the hinge point base point the rotation angle is 30 because 30 degrees it's making an angle yes perfect now this is the front view you can see the same this is the front view of the pyramid there will be no change in the dimensions of the base okay now to draw the top view i am drawing the projectors from the vertices from here okay from here okay and from the center okay and from the c corner a projector and from the d corner a projector okay now when you see from the top again the pyramid looks like a triangle again the pyramid looks like a triangle in the top view but if you see carefully when you see from the top the edge bo is clearly visible the edge bo is clearly visible the edge co is also clearly visible c o the do is also clearly visible okay but a when the observer sees from this one the corner A is very far away to his eyesight. So that's why the edge AO is invisible. That's why AO I marked it as dashed line, which represents the hidden slant edge. So now the same I'm going to draw. Take the line and this is the center. Axis of the pyramid is 80. Connect all the I am drawing the base of the pyramid yes let us give the line weightage for everything later we will see text yeah this one is B and this represents a and this one the C and this one the D
Okay, text. This one is O. As I said, when you see from the top, the B O is clearly visible. Let it be this one. And when you see from the top, C O is also clearly visible. Let it be also visible line. And D O is also clearly visible. Whereas A is below to these three corners, which is invisible. So this one should be represent as a dashed line. So now other load, I ref prefer dashed to line. Okay, okay. Select this line and give the line type as dashed to. This is called a hidden edge. I forget to give the notation here. O dash because this is the apex point in the front view that's it now let us give the dimension d a l see there will be no change here very good and this is the axis we have to represent the axis also select this one as axis and give the line type as center to because it's an axis and give the color okay d a l perfect yes the second case also satisfied now when the edge of the base of the pyramid are equally inclined to HP you can see here it is having the four sides which is of 90 degrees so when this 90 degrees should be equal to HP it makes 45 degrees here 0 when it is equally inclined to HP the angle will be 45 degrees and when you see in the front it looks like a 45 degrees inclined square and all the triangular faces will meet to the center now but when you see from the top the edge slant edge bo clearly visible and c o is also clearly visible and d o is also clearly visible but now here the a which is exactly below to the corner a so AO is invisible if you see carefully here the three lines overlap each other that is CO is the visible edge and the center line and the hidden line all the three lines lie in the same line this is the visible edge below this one center line and below these two AO is the hidden line according to the priority we need to give first priority to the visible edge that is called C O. So now the same I am going to draw in the AutoCAD as I said control V yes just I am pasting it here ok equal inclination so now rotate I am taking this one as a base point the angle is 45 degrees perfect now dimension angular 45 you can see here also 30 degrees perfect now to draw yes to draw the top view I erected the projectors ok now you know the axis height is 80 connect the triangular faces to the apex and this one also here and draw the base edge if you see the B O is clearly visible C O is clearly visible D O is clearly visible B C of A D and then O so C O is clearly visible and this is the center line and the A O is hidden line all the three lines will overlap here visible line hidden line center line but the first priority goes to the visible line that's why I am giving the visible line here we will 
give the dimensions 30 and the height is 80. With this all the three cases satisfies, that is it.